every dude in his life has tucked at some point just to see what it would look like it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah i am trapped in a void i'm trapped in a void just to avoid anything but my whole fucking life holy shit my fucking life and this is my fucking life Okay, 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 let's freaking go, let's freaking see here, let's freaking figure this freaking thing out, eh? Let's freaking get a freaking thumbnail, eh, bud? Oh, freak, yeah, buddy, bud. Freaking right, she's freaking beautiful up close, look at her double stock, and look how freaking nice she is, freak, bud. Jesus freaking Christ. Maybe put that logo up here. Right, freaking right, let's get that freaking logo up here, frick yeah, buddy. Okay, that's a big old thumbnail, now bring my creepy eyes, hello there. <laughs> oh, frick yeah, buddy. <laughs> what? This is what you gotta do, you gotta trick the minds of the masses with all the symbols that they've been shown to love and to behold every day of their life. And you just come in and be the all-seeing eye of Horus, the Illuminati. All these brands are for the Illuminati, aren't they? They're from a bloodline of reptilian serpents. <laughs> okay. All right, now that we got that great information out of the way, let's address the elephant in the room. And no, I don't mean me, like usual. You're going to notice that uh, this subway situation is a little different. You know, I'm hitting my double meat BMT. That's a standard issue. We got some crispy things on the side to go inside and we do have a nice diet pet, but there is a little bit something going on here. A little misnomer, if you will. And that is, we're having it on their flatbread, okay? Now, I didn't choose this, but I ran to Subway real quick because I'm under the gun here. I'm under pressure. I just got back from late night snowboarding we're going to talk about that but i walked in and the girl was like just before anything we don't have any bread and i was like no and she's like but we do have flatbreads and i was like okay i think that'll do <laughs> that'll serve me we can make it work i'm hungry i'm desperate please give me a fucking <laughs> flatbread okay so i gotta tell you right off top it's actually looking amazing okay double meat bmt all the fixings that i usually get it did get toasted and i gotta tell you the way that it's holding everything and the chip access onto it seems next level, okay? So let's get it down and just not leaning tower of Mitsa. And uh, let's pour something first, I think is what we should do. So slide you back a little bit. It's a sauce haven around here, but we must pour. So come on in, come on over get comfy kick up your feet stay a while you know what I mean while I wet my beak here uh, I'm also happy to report I went into the subway in a pair of long johns which I thought you know they're they're waffle they have like a like a you know a peeing hole and stuff they're pretty low-key but at the same time like incognito but at the same time I was like is she going to scope out the fact that I'm wearing long johns out in public? And uh, she didn't. And I feel like I got away with something. You know what I mean? And I'm also happy to report I'm still wearing said long johns. And I'm eating this meal in said long johns. All right. Back up front and center. And we must put a few chips in before we take our first bite. Peel back this roof, peel back this roof. Oh, we are upside down on all accounts, but whatever, it's gonna work. Now, another thing I was so do down with, this is the same subway that uh, I ate subway in my vehicle recently and said like the girls in there were really dope. This is the same one, this is a different girl, but she was also very dope. Huge personality, we had chats and we had a good time. And we had a laugh about the service industry and bread shortages and 86ing items and all these things uh, that happen when you work in that situation with food and you run out 
but you guys know I love to construct my sandwiches in a very intentional manner. And when I asked, or when she asked me, you know, what toppings do you want? I said, of course, let, like you start with lettuce because they always lay the lettuce down. And then I said my other toppings, which are tomato, pickle, onion, cucumber, green pepper, banana peppers, and everything. And she didn't put the lettuce on first. And I was like, what is this sorcery? I don't get it. And then it clicked in. I was like, I think I understand. I was like, you're saving the lettuce until the sauce, right? So that all those little shredded bits. Stick to the sauce. And don't go flying everywhere. Look at this. So well made. And she's like, that's exactly it. She's like, if I put the lettuce on first, it always goes flying everywhere. I was like, you did go to Sandwich Artist University. Nothing like a beautiful saucy sabi. Mm. So we had a good chuckle about Sandwich Artists University. And I told her, yo, that's thinking though. That's genius. I was like, in all my years going to Subway, I've never seen a worker employee ever think outside the box like that. They just follow the, the rules. My guess is she could probably get in trouble from corporate for that. right that's my whole shit is like if there's a better way to do it a more like efficient way or a way that results in less hassle or spillage on these things it's like why not do it like that right and why not put ranch too much ranch oh, that's not even too much that's a perfect amount i'd say on everything right So we had good banter, her and I. And I tipped her a nice little tip because of her sandwich ingenuity. Her thinking outside the box isms. And her generally fun personality and I'm not lying to you right now when I say these flatbreads uh, make this Subway eating, <clears throat> eating experience seemingly so much more manageable. Right? Everything just stays so perfectly tucked. Like when you're 10 
looking at yourself in the mirror and wonder what it'd be like to be like a girl. <laughs> Come on, dudes, you know you did that. Every dude in his life has tucked at some point just to see what it would look like. Don't act like you have it. Slapper. Absolutely a slapper. And I will say, the cheesy bun, it gets a different crustiness to it. The buns are better, but there's something about the functionality of these flatbreads. Anywho, I digress. All right. Heading into the second half. God damn, bro, though. Like, these are so well constructed, bruh. <laughs> so, I'm happy to report that I can still snowboard. This is the main reason I'm so giddy right now. And also the reason why I'm still wearing long johns. Because I came home, I threw off my snow pants, I wore long johns to Subway, <laughs> got Subway, eating in long underwear currently. It's a whole mood, okay? It's a lifestyle. But this brings me great joy because I went last week to this other hill that I've never been to in my entire life. I usually, since I was a kid, since I was like three, four years old, I've been going to this one. And there's always this other one. And it was open ahead of time, but it only has like a T-bar, which is in a chairlift. It's like this weird, like you don't leave the ground, but it pulls you up a hill and shit. It's easier for skiers, for snowboarders. It's very difficult because just of the, the, the orientation of your, of your board. I've never ridden T-bars, and then also I haven't snowboarded, le snowboarded, did, 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 legit, I haven't snowboarded in, I'm going to say seven years, probably, and uh, you know, that's a significant amount of time off, so I went last weekend, I was a little hungover, I said, fuck it, like, get up, you're going snowboarding, like, make a day of it, get exercise, get this out of your system, blah, 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 blah. On the way out, my gut was feeling a little rough. I grabbed two McDoubles and a Coke, hangover dream cure. <laughs> Have those on the way out, get out there. <clears throat> you know, start doing my thing, get the ticket, blah, blah, blah. Take like this magic carpet up where you stand on, it's like, doo, takes you up, and then you gotta go to the T-bar. Go to the T-bar. Sketch out hard on entry. Almost bail. Get situated in some cockeyed weird way. I'm getting pulled up, I'm like halfway up. And... It got to a point where I was like low, the T-bar like strung out, got stuck, and then it like it like whip snapped and like cocked me sideways and like kicked me off.
So I had to hike out, out of the bush, onto like an ungroomed run where they'd been making snow and the, the made snow was all like rubble. So I had to navigate this like rubbly, shitty fucking snow. After all this, I'm just winded. It was all sketchy. I didn't feel comfortable at all. Like, I got down to the bottom and I was like, fuck this. Like, I'm out of here. Also, I feel like shit. <laughs> so I go back to my truck. I'm just like sitting at my truck. I'm just like, is this who I am now? <laughs> Did I lose it all? Is it all gone Pete Tong? Do I not know how to snowboard anymore? <laughs> so defeated. Stomach starts acting up. Vomit. <laughs> and then I decide, okay, we'll just wait another weekend until my normal place is open. So it opened last weekend. I didn't go for whatever reasons. And then tonight... They had the first round of night skiing. And night skiing is like the dopest vibe. It's my favorite vibe. It's just such a cooler feeling than, snow than skiing in the day. or snow Well, snowboarding for me in the day. Just like dark, but it's got all the big lights. Pop your tunes in. Drown out the world and just vibe out. So I got out there. Everything felt supernatural comfort in my home, my, my hometown territory, my, my like my home team type shit, right? I was at the away before and I fucked up at the away, but here I was like, I was like, okay, this is my home. And uh, took the chairlift up, first run, just saucing, like everything was on point, like riding a bike. Had it all, had all my, all my confidence, all my, the waiting of the, the carving, the waiting issue, like just waiting that your body, waiting the board. And then I just worked on, you like, it's like soccer or basketball, like you have touch. In snowboarding you have like touch as well. It's like just little like tail presses and just like little stuff that is just, you have to bring it back, so. Spent a few hours doing that and it just felt so good to be back on the slopes and actually like basically <laughs> when I was at the away, the away team like defeated me and then when I was at the home team I was like okay I, like I'm, I still <laughs> I am not like a washed up piece of crap <laughs> I got this still so it brought like some big mood to my uh to my life tonight. Reminded me of old times. There was some kids in front of me that were like, reminded me of like when I used to go when I was like 20 and they were, they were like pulling out the Mickey and like they were taking shots of uh, <laughs> rum and shit and they like smoking a little joint or hitting the vape or whatever. Those new breed kids that hit the vapes, they're hitting the vape and like having shots. And me and my guys used to do that, all, but we like would smoke weed like old person style but yeah we just have some drinks and we don't get too messed up you just get a little you get a little flowy you just you just get a little buzz a little con like it just it breeds this different confidence like once you have your, your headphones in you're a little buzz you're, you know you're, you're a little bit on one you can like tap into this different just this different flow state energy of just I don't know, it's more confidence or something. It's what taps you into the vibe of like shredding the gnar. So I did that for two hours. There was one more, one more hour left to ski, but by the time it rolled around to 8 o'clock, the line was just getting ridiculous, so... 
I was like, you know, I'm satisfied with what I did here. With knowing I still got it. And also, I could already feel my quads becoming sore. And I was like, tomorrow's going to be like, when you, you know, when you do legs at the gym, just trying to like sit down and take a shit. You're like, <laughs> so that's going to happen to me tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to it. But, you know, if I push it another hour, hour it would just be worse. So a first time working. But I'm excited. I'm ready to get back to it. Such an enjoyable form of exercise. This is what I've been missing in my life. Is I just like to get exercise in fun ways. And that's a really fun way to do it. So, <laughs> that's what I'm hyped on. That's why I was mad, mad hyper for this video. Because I just... I'm on, a, I'm on just like a high, like an, like an activity workout, snowboarding high, like. If I'll say. And also, the hilarious ex exchange with the uh, subway chick with the, with the long johns and shit. It's just, I don't know, it's just all funny. But anyway. The flatbreads were an experience. They're good. Do I want them over the bread? No. But do they have a different type of utility and functionality? Yes. There's something about the way that the way that they eat is like way more manageable than for the sub for some reason. Um, but texturally, not the vibe. I, I prefer the crunch and the squish of the bread. Anyhow, I know Chatty Cathy won. Sorry for those who don't love the talking, but it, today, tonight was a night where I needed to just let it out. Getting verbal, baby. <laughs> so until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.